Mr. Glade bringing you Latin Moran. What's up, y'all? Shit. I don't have no socials. <laughs> no, <it's just> t- <laughs> ah, I don't know what to say, dog. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what to say. Let's just get into the questions, bro. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this shit. All right, so I'm going to ask you the first question. What would you like to see out of other local artists? I would like to see uh, creativity, more creativity. I would like to see um, unity, I think. And I would like to see um, drive, you know what I mean? That's what I would like to see. I definitely I can agree with the unity part because it kind of saddens me how there's so many opportunities that go missed because people just don't take that chance to take advantage of certain opportunities that are presented to them. I want I want local musicians to dig deeper. You know what I mean, I want them to experiment with their sounds, and it's not for everybody. You know what I mean. That's what I would like. A lot more, a lot more, more subject matter. You mean like deeper subject matter? Fucking just talk. You mean just talk to people? That's what I want. All right. So when you're not like doing music, what are some of your favorite things to do in your spare time? Um, what the little wings say. When I'm not working, I'm working. I'm always working. I'm always working on music. Um, but I love, I love the movie theater. I love watching movies. Um, you know, chains are always good. When I'm not working, I'm working. I'm studying the film. I'm studying uh, how music can affect the scene in the movie. You feel me? I'm working on shit like that. It's always good to stay busy when you're not actually occupied with things like your actual place of employment or when you're doing music because that's that is part of your career it's obviously something that we're here for right now so even when you're not busy it's always good to occupy that time with something that is bettering your career or giving you you know knowledge that you missed out on from some other shit spare time is never to be taken lightly yeah and i'm always trying to learn um I, i take the opportunity every day to try to learn something new whether it's through a book or through people. Yeah. All right, so out of all your albums, which of your uh, which of your completed albums do you favor most? Oh, wow, well, I did a lot of music in, over the years, man. Um, I did some shit with, uh, with Shady Shaman back in the day. I did some shit with... Uh, Lotion of the guy, rest in peace for him. I did better late than ever. Um, shit, I did. Damn, yo, this is, this is too much music. I think, um, I think most recently, Growing Pains is my favorite piece of work because it's so, so raw and it's personal. You know what I mean? And I was able to get a lot of things off of my chest and just, you know, put it out into the world, my truth, and it resonated with people. And I think that's why it's my favorite album. Yeah, I've listened to your album, Growing Pains. I, I enjoyed it a lot, actually. And I like the way you actually deliver a lot of the words in your music. Most people don't understand some of the lyrics that you have. From the perspective of that I that I see it, I have a different understanding for music. I'd like to to think, but I can appreciate your lyrics. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. I think um I think because the lyrics are so personal, I think you have to know me on some type of level. You know I mean that the average music listener doesn't know me on? You feel me? Um, so that might be why some of the lyrics don't connect with people, but I think the subject matter connects with people the most. You know what I mean, I mean talking about fatherhood and depression and faith. I think those topics really connect with people because there's, I mean, there's dads in the world, there's fucking people trying to figure their 
you know, beliefs out and their faiths out. And there's people who suffer from depression like I do. So we'll leave a, a link for the album Growing Pains. You can find it on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, uh, Google Play, whatever, you know, major streaming site that you got. Do you have any good advice that you would like to give to any upcoming upcoming artists? Uh, learn as much as possible. Work on your craft every day. Um, be open to change. Uh, study, really study your craft and learn where you come from. I'm not saying that you have to be a fucking uh, 90s hip hop a junkie or anything like that but know where you come from so you you'll be able to tell where you're going you know if you if you know who you are you know who you will be type shit you feel me so i think that's important is to learn uh, the ins and outs of hip-hop and learn an appreciation for culture and understand the culture that you're in that you grew up in and you don't even know you know what i mean some people don't even know that they grew up in a hip-hop culture Yeah, I think a lot of people actually today and age are missing the the true understanding of hip hop and rap. Like a lot of people just jump into the scene with their friends and they're just doing whatever they enjoy in the moment. But if you try and take this craft seriously, you should take time to learn about the history and the background of certain things and how artists have overcame certain obstacles. And there's a lot of things you can learn from other mistakes people made if you can pay attention the right yeah, way. Hell yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, you know, uh, a lot of, you know, older heads, um, we like, you know, they, they like to uh, put pockets big on this pedestal and they, they get mad at these 21 year old kids for not knowing who pocket big, or not necessarily not knowing who they are, but not really knowing their music. And so you can't be mad at that. They grew up on fucking Future and Drake, you know what I mean? Like, Argue, the Drake is like one of the most influential musicians we've ever had in hip hop ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you mad because they're inspired by Drake more than Pac and Big? It doesn't make sense. But it's important for these kids to know who they are. You know I mean Pac and Big? It's important for these kids to know who Rakim and Dougie Fresh and fucking Run DMC. You know what I mean all these guys were? And I'm not saying they have to be their favorites or even inspired by them, but know, know the forefathers. You know what I mean? While you were at some of your lowest points in your career of doing music, how did you overcome those moments? I wrote it out. I prayed about it and then I wrote it out. You know what I mean? And I put it in the music. I put every every bit of pain and every bit of depression and sorrow and fucking self-doubt into the music. And I talked about those things. And it's freed me from myself. You know what I mean? Yeah, I always hear a lot of stories of certain celebrities and artists how they their music really comes through shit that they're experiencing in real life. Yeah, and that's what helps. Like, and that's probably why you get so such good lyrics out of your music because you're you're actually relating it to real life situations and scenarios that you're living through and experiencing. And a lot of people today are just rapping about random stuff, money that they don't have, and a bunch of bullshit. That's probably what's helping to make a difference in some of the lyrics that you deliver to your to your fans. I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with people talking about things that they don't have. I mean, you gotta be able to speak it into existence, right? That's true. You, want it, you know, if you want it working, they would pray for it. So, I don't mind that, but like, you know, be honest. On, a, on some degree with yourself, you know? Be honest on some degree with the people listening to you. That's all I, I really ask for out of a musician. I can appreciate that. So what's your input on rap beef? I guess like, in the, cons the competitive nature of rap beef is cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think it's cool to watch niggas like spar with each other. But I think, 
that when certain lines get crossed, you have to expect somebody to get hurt. And I would never want to see that. It may even really play out. If that makes sense. I mean, like, it's just, if it's just rap, then let it be rap. But if it's on some other shit, don't rap about it. Yeah, I can I can understand that because a lot of people get. I guess it would be too personal if you speak out on certain things and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like so that whole Drake and Pusha thing, like. You know, when Drake mentioned Pusha's fia, then fiance, and then Pusha talked about, you know, this nigga's kid and his friend being sick and this nigga's parents and shit, like that shit would come to blows. I mean, that's, that's just, I don't know. There's lines, there's rules, I mean, and then some people don't follow the rules, some people don't think there are rules in it, but you have to be mindful of what you say at all times. You definitely gotta try and have the most respect for this rap game stuff. So, final question: What is Lancaster to you? Lancaster to me. Lancaster is home. Lancaster is uh, inspiration. Lancaster is sometimes. Um, Lancaster is sometimes. It can be a trap for some people. Some people never leave. Some people. You know what I mean? Some people like they think that this small city is the world, you know what I mean? And it keeps people trapped, it keeps people small-minded, I think. Um, but it raised me, you know what I mean? This little city raised me, and I think it did a good job. Shit, I think that's why I might not be here. Maybe some shit the city told him. Um, like I said, it is what else is like I like Trey with a message like Ox. I see it's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of it. I don't know how to explain it, man. It's got a lot of it's got a lot of potential. I mean, I guess it can be dope. And like I said, it's definitely very beautiful. You go out and experience the scene here. Yeah. You can see a lot of shit that is surprising. The history here is crazy. It's it is. It's, Lancaster is very diverse, but it's not the United. It's so I mean it's like it's one of those things is like you'll see all types of people, but you won't see all types of people together at one time. It's such a weird thing to like I mean it's such a weird thing to see because when I was living in New York or, you know, when we went out to Pittsburgh, and, I mean, we saw all types of people chilling together. But you don't see that. Well, hopefully with, with power, we can unite more people to have diversity and more networking opportunities and more support for each other and empowerment for each other. Because that's, that's what this city needs. And that's, that's our job, though. I mean, like, what you're doing right now is a beautiful thing. I mean, like you're interviewing the musicians and artists and all types of people. I mean, you mean, you're giving these people a platform to talk. Now they have to pay it forward. I mean, it's their job to pay it forward. And we like, look, we're doing this, we're doing this, come out. Come fuck with us. I mean, get everybody out. Don't just click up with the homies that you, I mean, like, invite niggas out to your shit, bro. Go to other niggas' shit. I mean, don't be so prideful. Share a fucking post. You know what I'm saying? It's not hard. You mean go download a nigga album? It's free now. You don't even gotta buy shit no more. That's true. Sharing, yeah. liking, listening to music, those streams yeah, like are free. That's it, bro. And if you wanna be a real nigga and buy some shit, then buy some shit. That's truly important. You can go to Walmart and buy some merchandise there, or you can go and buy it for the same price, if not cheaper from your local distributor or local supplier. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But there you got it. Mr. Glade bringing you Laddie Moran. Hey. Sauce, Laddie Moran at uh, Laddie Moran on everything. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Spotify, Apple Music, L-A-D-D-I-E-M-O-R-A-N, one-fourth of cool. You know what I'm saying? So, get with me. We out.
daddy Fuck it, hate when I'm rapping, really living what I write But the people seem to love it, say what I'm flowing is tight, it's alright yeah. They entertained by my inner strife They nod their heads and cleanse their soul, but I can't sleep at night I ask for God to show me what inner peace is like Holding grudges, I need to be more Jesus-like